Hello and welcome to this new little series where every few weeks I'm going to be looking at an old arrangement of mine and focusing on a specific feature or moment and just delving into it, breaking it down for you. Starting today with Michelle by the Beatles. Let's crack on. When you're writing an arrangement of a pre-existing tune, but you want to add your own accompaniment figures, your own little creative flair, your own counter melodies and so on. One of the best ways to do this is to actually extrapolate a lot of the material from the original tune and transform it in your own way. This then gives your version stronger ties to the original, which is especially important when you're writing an instrumental version of a song with vocals where you don't have lyrics to help you out. So how have I done it in Michelle? If you haven't heard this arrangement, by the way, go have a quick listen, otherwise none of this will make much sense. So the intro, the first verse and the first refrain follow the original pretty closely. The intro is basically the same, the verse, there's the tune and the bass is the same as the record, but the horn plays a little counter melody line just following chord tones, filling in the job of the backing vocal choir thing in the original tune. We then get another little counter melody in the trumpet that comes in again, chord tones, a few suspensions here and there, kind of a bit Bach chorale. And then we get to the refrain where the pace picks up a little bit, the bass starts walking in the original. I've added a few extra big bandy stabs just to fill out the harmony and the rhythm. By the end of the refrain, we're back to following the original fairly closely. But then we get to the second verse and everything changes. Look at all those triplets, where have they all come from? Well, they haven't just come from nowhere. If we take a look back at the I love you, I love you, I love you refrain from the refrain bit, it's been established as one of the hooks. That is a triplet rhythm. And so we're sort of taking that rhythm and bringing it to the second verse and using it as an accompaniment. These triplets sort of have a nice interplay with the straight crotchet feel of the melody and then when we get to the I love you I love you I love you refrain again the triplets all sync up and suddenly we're in a triplet feel and it feels very natural that we're here which then leads on to a sort of fast waltz feel for the rest of the refrain which I feel is a nice smooth transition for the rest of the arrangement things kind of just get rhythmically simpler from here on out we've kind of reached the peak here there's the trumpet solo everything's a bit kind of swing big bandy kind of vibe and then we get the final verse where it is just homophonic chords just block chord voicings and then we end on a deconstructed slightly reharmonized version of the verse just chord swells to bring us down and just relax us at the end so while the song is basically just three times around this same melody with a little trumpet solo in there just breaking up a little bit still the same chords though every little section has been derived from the original whether that's the rhythms or the harmonies or just the straight up arrangement of the original in the first verse and that's that if you enjoyed this format of video, like and subscribe, of course, because there will be more. But also drop a comment downstairs with your favourite arrangement or an arrangement that you might want me to delve into a little bit and I will see what I can do. Also, if you want to see more of these for the new arrangements that I'm putting out, there will be one of these videos for every video over on my Patreon page for my Patreon supporters. So go have a look at that if that sounds like it might be up your street. Cheers then. Like, share, save, sub. See ya.